What's going on, Megan here. I'm gonna try to make these videos as quick as possible. Um, just get to the point. Megan, how much protein per, uh, per day was the question. And once again, I'm gonna combine bro science and science and let you guys be the judge, let you guys pick the balance, the middle point, as far as your own experience to see what works for you. Now you guys, for those of you that know me, I try to experiment with different protein, different um, protein amounts per day. Uh, I even went, I tried the two extremes, right? Which is super, super low and super, super high. Super low was when I started to follow my uncle's uh, um, protein intake, which was six, around 60 grams per day. And he was still pretty muscular, especially for his age. So I tried that and it didn't work out too well for me, guys. I tried the 60 grams of protein a day from Whole Foods thing. It didn't work because I forgot one major thing was number one, me and my uncle didn't train the same, right? The amount of protein you need depends on obviously your age, your size, your, your, how big you are, and your training, your training intensity, your training style. If you try to train high volume, high intensity, or like me, full body workout, you need a lot more protein, and you also need, um, uh, because you, you, you break it down more protein, right? I mean, it makes sense. Mongo will go to the gym and do splits, right? Like chest day, next day, back day, then arm day, leg day. Me, I'll go to the gym and do chest, arm, shoulders, back, I mean, legs everything right so my body was breaking down a lot of protein so in order for me to balance that let alone surpass it because you got to have a, a surplus of protein um intake for protein synthesis to take place so i had to eat a lot more protein than that so when i tried 60 grams of protein for a month thing it took me forever to recover guys like i mean my my training it, my training intensity had to go down because i i mean i just couldn't go hard in the gym anymore even when i increased my cars my and my body uh went down as far as muscle size right even though my cars was were, um, were in there it wasn't enough for me to grow it's enough for me to maintain and just stay around average but it's not enough for me to grow so i had to get back on uh, increasing my protein also when i went super 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 high um obviously i bounced back so my body was able to retain my protein but it, it, it got, got to a point where just i was eating way too much right i went as high as over 300 and it was insane and i was like man this, this is this is fucking crazy then i went into the science finally right the good thing i told you guys is to always look at both sides Exper experiment with your own body Look at what other people are saying, bro science, whatever, and then look at the science and find the, the balance. The studies, so far, I'm gonna get to a point, guys. Um, there, there's different recommendations. So what I did, I looked at all the different studies, a lot of them, and then I looked at the average. The average is around one gram per pound of body weight, right? Uh, it goes from 0 0.90 grams per pound of body weight all the way up to, you know, one point something. But the average really one gram per pound of body weight on trained athletes, right? When you look at studies, look at studies on trained athletes. Don't look at studies on old people or regular people or whatever, uh, especially for bodybuilding. Focus on trained, like, football players or whatever, or, like, powerlifters or bodybuilders. So, and then find out that anything above... 1.5 grams of per pound of body weight was just being either wasted or it was being oxidized you know when your body was, was, was getting too much protein it was start to oxidize it if it was more than what it needed and i also saw some studies where if you're eating just you know just above, a little above what you need your body will try to hold on to some of it in your intestines because your body doesn't really have a store for protein like it does for glucose which is glycogen and um but eventually anything above that 1.5 gram per pound by the way mark was just being oxidized why would you use that for energy um so and then i also looked at you know studies in the uk all over the fucking world right same thing two grams per pound two to 2.5 grams per kilograms of body weight for my uk motherfuckers it was two to 2.5 grams per kilogram of body weight that was like the fucking threshold where anything above that didn't do anything as far as increased protein synthesis so I was like, wow, this is interesting. So pretty much I averaged all these numbers out and it, it you know, gave the conclusion that as long as you're in that 1.5 gram per pound of body weight range, you are fine. For people that are really trying to put on size, I would say stay at that 1.5, 1 to 1.5. Uh, once again, speak with your doctor. I'm not a fucking doctor, I'm not licensed, but that's just my my opinion based on a lot of fucking research. That's the middle point where you, you're not too, you're not going overboard and you're not under, right? Because don't forget, protein is a whore. Protein gets used for energy. Protein gets used for gluconeogenesis, meaning it gets converted to glucose. Protein uh, gets used for your muscle tissue. Protein gets used for your um, your your intestines. They need a lot of glutamine. Protein gets used for your hair, your nails. I mean, your body needs protein for almost everything. So, so if you're bodybuilding and you're breaking down a lot of protein and you're also big as fuck, you need a lot of protein. So stay around that 1.5 grams because protein is a fucking whore. Um, what else? And also, as far as like, if they've been looked at like, protein absorption rates you know i looked at studies on protein absorption rates how much protein your body can absorb per hour the fastest the best protein as far as like absorption 
the best your body could do is around maximum 10 grams per hour and that's proven that there's millions of studies on that you take the fastest absorbing protein like whey protein pork tenderloin different uh, sources uh even if that's the only thing you ate with no other foods right the the maximum with all the enzymes you could take protein and just the enzymes your body can only take about 10 a maximum 10 grams per hour it's usually as low as like for example like eggs it's like around four grams per hour uh, chicken and fish is like in the middle whatever uh, whey protein is up there but it's between like five and ten the minimum being eight but i was but the utmost fucking limit is 10 grams that's pull the fuck van so if you do 10 grams per hour for 24 hours that's still 240 grams per protein no matter how big you are you know the biggest guy on the planet uh, I'm talking about natural dudes Your body can only absorb 10 grams per hour Not because of digestive issues Or whatever It's only be it's because of um, A lot of factors Coming to place right uh, Digestion You got amino acid transporters It doesn't matter how much How good your body is At digesting stuff It's limited to how many Transporters it has And your body Just has enough term transporters Even on the best Genetically gifted motherfuckers To absorb And utilize about 10 grams per hour So that's still 240 grams For even a 500 pound dude so you know the limit is you know 240 grams depending on how big you are uh per day right that's even if you were eating like absorbing 10 grams per hour that's under the most optimum circumstances right like your body somehow found a way to use the maximum amount of 10 grams per hour at the end of a 24 hour day that's only 240 grams so just use that number guys to find your balance point right remember as low as one um, one gram per pound of body weight as high as like 1.5 or you know if you don't believe me do you know do the research on this i spend a lot of time on this shit so my numbers are on point hope this video helps and uh, if you have any more questions comment below all right guys i'm out of here dominance discipline direction going in the gym hey guys going on really quick video uh top three protein sources for bodybuilders now me and hansa did this extensive study where we spent like two weeks literally looking at all the fucking nutrients, minerals, and whatever that a bodybuilder needs to optimize his muscle gains, right? I mean, we looked at everything, things that affect your hormones.